Adding motion blur selectively to woodland shots is a great way of rejuvenating old images. So let's take a look at how to apply motion blur to woodland images in Affinity Photo. Before we get started, my new book, The Digital Darkroom, The Definitive Guide to Photo Editing in Adobe Photoshop and Affinity Photo is now available. For more information about the book and to order your copy, follow the link in the video description. So here we have a forest image and all that we need to do is add a live filter. So go down to the live filters icon, which is an hourglass at the bottom of the layers panel. And then from that list of options, just click on motion blur and I'll just bring that dialog box into the window so you can see that. The first thing that we need to do is just set the rotation to 90 degrees. So just click at the top of that circle and then we can just take that radius over. Now the problem here is that by using the slider, the radius will only go to 100 pixels, but we want to have motion blur that extends much further than 100 pixels. So what we need to do here is type in our desired amount and then hit the end key. And the thing is for this technique, a pixel blur of anywhere between 500 and 900 pixels is going to work. It just depends on personal taste and also the resolution of your camera. Now one problem that you're going to notice here is that we have some transparency at the top and bottom of the image. And it's really, really easy to fix this. Just click on the preserve alpha checkbox and you'll see there that it's immediately filled in and looks just how it should. So now I can simply close this dialog down and I've just left mouse clicked on the motion blur live filter just to make sure that it's selected and active. And we're now going to paint onto this so that we're gonna mask out the effect in certain areas. So just click on the color tab at the top and we want to make sure that we have black and white as our foreground and background colors. To set black, just bring all the sliders over to the left so everything's at zero. And to create white, you can just take them over to 255. It's really easy. And we can use the X shortcut just to go between the two. So next up, hit B on the keyboard to select the brush tool. And we just need to make sure that the hardness is at zero so we get a really nice soft brush. And just make sure that black is in the foreground because we're going to be painting into the scene. And all you need to do now is just make sure that you've got the largest brush possible. So now with black in the foreground, I'm now just painting over that mask to reveal the woodland floor. So I'm not painting in a straight line. I'm trying to add depth by kind of staggering it. So what I'm gonna do now is hit X on the keyboard to bring white into the foreground and then just paint blur back in selective areas. Just as I say, just to add a sense of depth so that we don't have a straight line going across so there is a much more interesting application of the blur. So that's the technique finished. It's really, really simple. And all you need to do now is export or save your image and you're completely done. So that is how to add surreal motion blur to woodland shots using Affinity Photo. Mm -hmm.